Here's the textbook we use in my class, and the top of the pages that are shown are the planets of the solar system and the sun. This is an up-close look of the inner planets and two of the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn. So what does this drawing actually show? Well, it says here, this illustration shows the average distances of the nine planets from the sun. These distances are drawn to scale, but the sizes of the planets are not drawn to the same scale. The textbook is attempting to give the students a sense of the sizes of the planets and the distances between them. Unfortunately, this is not accurately showing what those sizes and distances are actually like. That leads us to a question of why don't textbooks show the scale of the solar system to both the size and distance? Well, it's just a simple matter that it's too big. It can't fit on the pages. Well, what does a model that's both scale to size and distance look like of the solar system? Well, here's a model that I actually have made and used in my science classes. We're looking at the city of Rockland, and more specifically, we're looking at the scale model of the solar system, both size and distance. And this is showing the street in front of my school. This model is about a total of about one mile long from the sun all the way out to Pluto. I'm using Google Earth to show this model. The buildings with the blue roofs are the ones that belong to my campus. Let's take a look at the scale in this model. So here, the sun's represented by a volleyball, which is eight inches in diameter, and so that's 800,000 miles in real life. So one inch in the model is 100,000 miles. Now the distance between the sun and the first planet Mercury is 10 yards, which is about 36 million miles, such accurately showing the distance between the two. In this model, Mercury is represented by the head of a pen, and it's about 0 0.03 inches in diameter, about 3,000 miles. The distance between Mercury to Venus is 9 yards, or about 32 million miles. And here we have Venus is represented by the head of a peppercorn, so it's about 19 yards away from the sun, or 68 million miles. Next, the distance between Venus and Earth is 7 yards, or about 25 million miles. And Earth, not very close in size to Venus, is also going to be shown by the head of a peppercorn, about 0.08 inches in diameter, or 8,000 miles. The distance between Earth and Mars is 14 yards, or about 50 million miles. And Mars is about the third of the size of the Earth, so it's going to be represented by the head of a pin. So those are the inner planets, and you can see to the right of the inner planets is the bus loop. And the bus loop is large enough to hold about five to six buses, and you can see in the distance the cars, and to the left you see some houses. So you kind of get a sense of scale right away with those four inner planets. Now, here's Jupiter. Jupiter is quite a ways away. It's 135 yards away from the sun, or about 486 million miles. And it's represented by a super ball, about 0.90 inches. So you can see, hey, look how far it is compared to the rest of the inner planets. It's quite a distance away from there. That distance is about 95 yards, or 342 million miles. Now, when I have my kids out here, what we do is... You can either do two things. You can either measure the distance by just telling a student, hey, count this many steps between the planets, and that substitutes for yards. Or you can actually have like a smartphone or, or something or a GPS meter where you can actually track the distances very accurately. Either way, it's going to work just fine. And I take about 45 minutes to do this whole model during the period. Another thing to have students do is when they get to each planet, and we do walk to all the planets, I tell them, hey, turn around, take a look at the sun, and notice how big the sun looks. They're always quite astonished to see how small it is, especially when you get out here to Saturn. Saturn, you're a great distance. Uh, it's represented by the hazelnut, and if you're to look from Saturn back to our model volleyball sun, it's going to look extremely small, and the students get a, a really good sense of, hey, there's not as much light coming out here from the sun. We're pretty far out there. And so now you see in the distance, the green dot is Uranus, and we're getting away from our school. We're actually going down towards the park, and Uranus is about uh, 496 
yards away from the sun, we're on 0.785 billion miles, and it's represented by the size of a peanut. Up to Neptune, 281 more yards, or 1 billion more miles to get to there. And so again, we're going down the street along the uh, along the sidewalk, making sure we're out of the street. And uh, and there's Neptune, also represented by the size of a peanut. So we're getting pretty far away from our original sun. And if you look back to the sun, it's going to be pretty small. And then finally, out to Neptune, 242 more yards in, to, uh, from Neptune to Pluto. Um, it's quite a distance, and usually we don't even get out to Pluto. It's just too far out there to go during the period. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. It's a long ways out there. All in all, this model is oh, pretty much almost a mile out there, and so it takes quite a, quite a ways to get out there. Now, what I like also to do is talk about how, how we send probes. We launch probes from Earth, and we send them to the other planets like Mercury and Venus. We send a lot of probes to Mars. We have one out to Jupiter. We have Cassini to Saturn. And I tell them along the way is, hey, think about that. Think about our model peppercorn Earth. And from that, you have to send a probe that accurately gets to these planets so far away. They can understand why it takes six months to, of travel time to get to Mars from Earth or like six years of travel time to get from Earth to Saturn. It's just a very staggering uh, scale of the sizes of these planets and that especially these distances away from each other, especially the ones in the outer, the outer planets. And here we're just seeing a, another view of the model. We're going to try to get it so it's flat on, so you're looking straight down to these planets, and you'll get a better sense of the scale involved as well. You can see again the cars give you a really good sense of scale to this whole model and we're going to start zooming out to get an overall bigger picture of this whole model. So as we're zooming out again you can see the distances between these outer planets with Pluto being this one right here then we have Neptune and then Uranus is next is the green one and then we're moving up onto Saturn the blue one and then and there's Jupiter the purple and finally we get Hey, there's our original yellow sun, our volleyball. And you can see the inner planets that are much closer together than the outer planets. And you can see why the inner planets are so much warmer, too. They're so much closer to that sun. And so this is pretty much the scale model of the solar system that we do in my class. And the students get a really good understanding of how these planets are actually like, the distances and their sizes. And here's just another view of the whole model.